All right, when it comes to testing our valve springs, they all need to be tested because they're subject to millions and millions of oscillations, not to mention all the heat that they put up with. They can lose their tension and therefore not do the job they're supposed to do. If a, jo if a spring is weak and doesn't close the valve seat tight enough, the valve can leak and thereby cause a burning of the seat or the valve and engine failure. So when we come to our valve tester, there's many different types. This one is nice because it's a little less expensive and you can clamp it in a vise and move it to any location you want. So first of all, you need a spec on what the valve closed spring height would be. And some manuals will give you valve open height, which would be shorter, and valve closed height, which would be longer. So we're just gonna check this for valve closed height. And we've come up with a spec of uh, one and seven eighths inches. Now the directions are all on this tool and you can adjust this table to the height that you need it to be. So if I take my zero and I turn this wheel till it gets to the zero, right there I'm on two inches exactly and I want to be inch and seven eighths. Now we're at inch and seven eighths and we are set for that. Now we can put our spring on there. There's some circular grooves in here so you can center the spring. Then you take a dial type torque wrench and we're going to zero our needle on that dial type torque wrench and we're going to insert it into this tool. The tool, uh, once it is triggered, you have to reset it. So to reset it, you just lift it up, it re resets, put our torque wrench in there, if I can find it, okay. And then we pull down until you hear an audible click. So I'm pulling and the needle is moving up and up and there's the click and I stop pulling. Now if I look at my wrench, it says that I have uh, let's see, 40, 35 foot-pounds of torque to move that. But if I read my directions in here, it says you take the torque that you get on your dial torque wrench and you double it for the spring force. So at 35 foot-pounds, that means at that height, that spring has 70 pounds of force to compress it to the closed valve height. And if that is within spec, according to our manual, then that spring is reusable. If it's slightly less, sometimes they can be shimmed. We don't normally do that, but there's a shim that would go into the spring to compress it a little further to get to that tension. Again, not something we do very often. Usually if springs are weak, they get replaced. Cylinder heads are not very often rebuilt by technicians in industry anymore. It's usually sent out to machine shops with all the specialized equipment to do this. But this gives you a better understanding of how things work when you're diagnosing problems or uh, checking the cylinder head to see if it's if it needs extra work, so it's handy to know.